Alright guys, let's see if this thing even works. We'll give you a walk around here before we get started. So the machine's empty. One thing I forgot to uh, know, you see that hose right there? That is a purge line, or for a purge line, so that line goes in the back here, and then it goes to the crankcase vent of the engine. Now the idea here is to um, purge this tank so that we can overcome surface tension in this valve, because water is very good at creating surface tension, and without uh, some sort of intervention to overcome that, you'll have inc inconsistent flows. And I've been doing this for a while, um, and this has worked pretty pretty well. If you know, I've got a T here. Um, that's so that we don't overpressurize. It doesn't take much to overcome that. Just the just the pulsing of the engine should keep it flowing. All right, so <clears throat> we got our filter in the back here. We got that connected. There's our mixer valve engine attachment hose going to our blower now if you know I don't have hose clamps that is a, a safety feature actually um, if there is a flashback um, a catastrophic one that hose will expand and it'll pop off there alleviating the, the pressure um, so um, that is a safety feature all right so I'm gonna set you guys down and fill this thing up. Alright, so we got our water. This is two liters. Make sure our valve is closed. about two-thirds the way up which should be plenty for this little little gas fire and one thing I want to note the engine here I have no idea if that will even run I couldn't get it run out of gas could be a carburetor problem if it is a carburetor problem it should still run on wood gas but we'll see this here is about three gallons wow man almost filled it up I should have screened this a little better. Alright, so that is filled to the rim. I'll open our ignition port here. Alright, now I am going to try it on 12 volt DC. I'm not promising anything. Um, if we can get the flutter off in this video, I'm, I'd be happy with that. I don't know if we'll get the engine running or not. If not, then I will move to another video and we'll just run the big one, which is kind of scary because this is a, a little, little machine. Alright, so let's give her a whirl. Can't even hardly hear that thing. <laughs> it did light. Give you a close up of that. <laughs> if not, we'll plug in the AC.
Yeah, I don't think it's going to cut it. You want to charcoal, you should see a little bit of smoke. Especially with this one, you're definitely going to want a speed controller run it all the way in low. memory again that sucks because I went through and I started the engine up it worked flawless so now this time around it probably won't work all right so I'm gonna start out again took me a minute to figure out what was going on because normally it says it ran out of memory it didn't, it didn't tell me that this time just quit taking video all of a sudden all right so we're gonna fire this back up I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, we'll definitely be doing some nighttime flares with this thing. Just the water away. Might have her up too much. Oh. 